Hi Pisces, it's Abby. Welcome to your September 2021 forecast for my channel Rogue Pisces Tarot. Uh, if you want to look at an alternate forecast, there's going to be one posted uh, very shortly on Rogue Goddess Tarot, which is my second channel where I read for all the signs. So if you dig that, go check it out there. Um, I'm going to do, I was about to do a nine card and then I was like, nope. <laughs> Celtic cross. That's interesting. Okay. Ooh, what's all this? So this is the Light Seer's Tarot. I'm going to clarify with the Muse. As I'm setting up, thank you everybody who has subscribed, who is a, a you know, a patron, a member, those of you who donate, do all the things. I really appreciate every single one of you. Every time you guys hit that like button or you like send me an emoji or you do whatever, you tell me about your day, like it actually, it really helps get everything out. So I really appreciate you. Um, we have the King of Cups sitting at the bottom of the deck. So an underlying energy, it's a lot of loving energy. Uh, it's good counsel. Uh, the King of Cups is someone who rules they own their emotions. They are not owned by their emotions, okay? So this feels like this month could very well have a lot to do with your emotional stability, emotional maturity. Could be a water sign. We do have um, the chariot right in the middle of everything. So big change, swift movement, letting the universe sort of guide the way. As you see, there are no reins in that person's hand, right? They are letting the th everything just kind of unfold with faith, with such faith, you could have a sure cancer person at the center of the of the matter. You know, one twelfth <laughs> around of the population is a cancer, so could very well be. Mm, queen of voices. See how the queen popped up to see her king. There's a lot of clarity. Good decisions. This is. Air sign, energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be dealing with someone who has those signs. Four of Wands sitting in your challenge position for this month. It feels like going forward with faith is difficult because some of you, I think, have tried to train yourself in the greater world because the world is so analytical. The world is so, like, not totally connected to Pisces watery sensitivities and all of that kind of stuff we're incredibly adaptable and Pisces are such good chameleons I'm a Pisces if you didn't know um, but sometimes going forward with complete faith and just doing it can be an incredible challenge in a world that wants wants facts and figures that wants you to make the most responsible choice possible and this feels like something that you're, you're feeling out here, Pisces. Mm -hmm, death card. So like transformation being foundationally a big deal here. Now, this could be a huge change in things like um, your home, your workspace, your business. Could be relationships also. There could be some kind of next leveling. Both of these are kind of cards of going into something bigger. Now the four of wands is more so, it's a smaller energy. This is more the day to day, right? This is like, could be something, you could be changing jobs. You could be, um, you know, it could be a higher level commitment of some kind. It could be uh, celebration home. This card for me is very much about home and celebration. So it feels like there might be some kind of feeling of really needing to change like this restless spirit of like, I need a new home. I need a new home is kind of what I'm getting there. Could be a Scorpio person who's involved in some way, right? You could have maybe a Scorpio person that you live with or have lived with something about that. But this feels like this month is like very transformative for you, Pisces. And it feels like that's going to be the biggest challenge just because I feel like a lot of you are leading with your gut and it, it, there's a, a part that comes in that's been trained by everything around us not to uh, do that. We have, with what's serving you, we have the Ten of Swords. So what's sitting down below here, what you're kind of resting upon 
is an ending, is being able to see the sun over the horizon, right? This ten of swords, they're walking towards something, right? They're walking towards something else, away from one thing, but towards another. And it's the thing that you're going towards that is way more important than whatever you're leaving behind. It doesn't mean it wasn't significant. It doesn't mean it didn't matter. It doesn't mean you didn't have love for that person or place or thing or situation or whatever it is. But it's like there's a something brighter. Mm-hmm. Muse of voices. So King of Swords, again, right? You have the King of Swords sitting here in your outcome. You have the King of Swords again. It's like you've been able to be very clear. For some of you, you could have maybe an ending or a transformative sort of energy happening with an air sign. That's a possibility also. But I'm also like, I just get this sense of great direction. And where this queen, like I almost got like this sense with all of the crows that are in this picture of like the sound of fluttering wings, like when I was looking at it. Um, and this one, right? It's sort of like taking that wind and see how there are kites that are all over here. It's like catching an updraft. Right? It's like finding a way to turn whatever this, this like, this flutter is into something like constructed. It's like harnessing it, like filling up a sail. Okay, in the recent past, we had the Queen of Wands. You could have had a fire sign person who was of some, some significance recently in the past month. But this feels like focusing on your self-esteem and your sort of personal glow up was really, really important to you this past month. Um, it feels like that was almost like of the utmost importance. Doing things passionately, yeah. <laughs> and the hermit. So I mean, wisdom and reflection, right? It was, for some of you, I feel like you may have um, spent a lot of time on your own to get this feeling. You could also have maybe a fire sign person around you who really pumps you up and makes you feel really good, who is able to help you find that spark. But I'm feeling like for some of you, like you're like hot girl, hot boy, hot person summer, whatever. <laughs> I feel like it was sort of like I am focusing in on what I want, what will make me feel good, what makes me feel excited. And even just figuring that out quietly on your own. It doesn't mean that you were just like, what's good? And then you just jumped out and did it. Now, some people are like that. That's cool. But I'm getting the sense more so from this combination that it was like really searching for that information of like, what's going to pump me back up here? And then you have the hermit again. Interesting. So in the near future, more hermit energy. Now this is Virgo season. Um, so it feels like for those of you that this will ring with, the stuff is like, maybe it's very Virgo-y kind of stuff <laughs> that's making you feel better right now. Um, things like having a plan. Uh, maybe not the perfect plan, but like a routine, you know, maybe not beating yourself up if you slip up every now and again, but at least attempting to get the ball rolling with something. And it just, it feels like putting things in place so that it's easier, right? Because in the mind space, before I clarify, like you have the stars, Aquarius energy with the seven of pentacles. This is like this great hope and wish and healing. Some of you have been wishing and praying and reflecting and trying to find a um, sort of like your North Star. You, I feel Pisces this next month, your mind is going to be a lot on analysis, but it feels like it's a healing analysis. Like it's rather than being too, too hard lined and too um, analytical and crit more critical an analysis, okay? This feels like really loving and healing and that it's coming from a place of like, 
What's the dream and how, how am I going to foster it, right? How am I going to get this thing to grow up? Yeah, two of materials because it's a balancing act. This is a juggle. We have queen of materials. Okay, so you could possibly have a fire sign in your, or an earth sign, sorry, in your future. Very, very earthy energy. This feels like you gathering your resources, maybe a little bit of nesting. Maybe you're going to clean and, uh, you know, get things all worked out. Put your ducks in a row before the winter comes if you're in the northern hemisphere. Um... I know here we have long, long winters and I have got, I don't do spring cleaning so much as like fall cleaning, fall winter cleaning. Ooh, it's like the thought of being inside all the time around clutter just makes me bonkers. So it feels like some of you uh, will probably be focusing a lot on your resources, your routines, um, your financial wellness, creature comforts, making your home enjoyable, making your space enjoyable. Um, and just building like solid foundations here. Now, in the Five of Cups showing up is you here, Pisces. You might have some, you know, some some regrets happening. Some of that reflection, like I said, might be turning too critical. It might be turning a little too, um, you know, you might be having trouble um, shifting perspective, okay? Um, yeah, but... <laughs> There's ideas on the way. There's a lot going on. Now, this could be almost like, I'm almost like you have bees buzzing around your head. Just like so many ideas, so many things that you want to do. Now, there's an adventure to go on. There's a new beginning, a start here, possibly a young, um, exciting fire sign person who could be showing up. For some of you here... But it's, I for some reason, I'm wanting to tell you that you think it's going to be smaller than it will be. It's like you think it's a page level adventure, but it's not. It's the chariot. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's a zoom. Like, it's like, oh, why did I waste so much time doing this, that, and the other? You might have those moments throughout this month, but it feels like there's something... That is lighting your fire here in a really nice way. Uh, for your environment position for the month, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So a lot on your independence, right? Cleaning up, cleaning house, uh, feeling good about yourself, uh, making the right choices and being rewarded for those choices. Um, I feel like the others around you are seeing you in a much more independent light. As you're moving towards sort of this queenhood here, queen of materials. Um... And this might not be something that you do with other people, right? The Leo energy of the sun has shown up to clarify, but it's like, it's almost like you're happy on your own. I'm wanting to say that you might be spending a lot of time in your own company and actually finding a lot of peace in that. Like we have the sun here with this person who's like in the lotus position, receiving their happiness, clarity, and enlightenment. Um... Yeah, this feels like you're really, people are going to be seeing you in a really optimal position, which I really like. Your page has shown up again, page of wands, page of inspiration in the hopes and fears. It's like I was saying, like it's, it's like, oh, I'm afraid it'll burn out too quick. I'm afraid it's just a dalliance. <laughs> I'm afraid it's just a passing fad. Um, maybe it's immature. It can't sustain its energy. Maybe I'm afraid it's like, Whatever that is there. Yeah, but it's, ooh. But what if it's not? With the Empress energy here. Um. <laughs> Sorry, that was my laundry timer. <laughs> okay, so. Um, right, this Empress with the Page of Wands. It's like the fear is like that it's going to be a passing fad. It's going to kind of come and go. It's going to be super exciting, but short-lived, burn out real quick, whatever this energy is. But it's like the hope is definitely to stoke it into something long-term, luxurious, something you can hang on to and enjoy for a good time to come. It's also part of, I think, your glow up here. You have three queens so far, right? And the, the Empress is the epitome of all of the queen energy. And the King of Cups here, you're missing the Queen of Cups. But, I mean, it's sort of like leaning into that 
receiving energy, which doesn't mean that you're resting on your laurels. It's just like so centered and so grounded. Some of you could also be I'm wanting to say you're hoping for some kind of flirtation from a Taurus person with this Empress energy. There's just so much inside. It's almost like the, the fear I'm seeing so much is this page, right? And it's sort of like this, whew, like this quick striking of a match, exciting, wonderful. But like, this is what you're after is like this glowing, beautiful source at the middle of the Empress, right? Just radiating outward. Like that's what you're after this month. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And your sort of outcome clarity position being the King of Swords. I mean, that's victory. <laughs> that's our warrior king. Um, could be, of course, air signs, right? Could have played some kind of role in this. But this is so much foresight and clarity. I'm feeling very much drawn to how, like, they're taking in whatever's coming on the wind. And it's like they're looking towards the past in a way, right? They're looking over in this direction. And it's like this... <sighs> it feels like this sets you up for some kind of victory, personal victory, some kind of leadership. Could be a communications role or something like that. But it's like... The King of Cups energy is so like, okay, let's come back to center. Let's come to love. Let's come to to passion let's come to what makes me feel good let's get let's get to the root of that right very powerful i like it and the ace yes i feel like you've been getting the ace of wands in one deck or another under one name or another for like a couple days now when i've been doing your readings i feel like that ace is a big friggin deal there's something that you're laying the groundwork for this month here, Pisces. I feel like it's going to be very important. Now, you do have the moon at the bottom of the card, so that's you, <laughs> little fishy. Um, but it's also a time of, like, a little bit of fear. It's like when we can't really see the way, right? The sun is the time when I feel like almost saying that, like, these are so connected to me, <laughs> this King of Cups and the moon, because it feels like your environment, I think people will be seeing you as if you're very independent, you have it all figured out, you're perfectly happy, you have the clarity. Like, I feel like there's some stuff that's, um, even if things aren't perfect, I feel like you might be putting off an aura like that, but there's going to be possibly some doubts. Um, you know, everybody has internal fears. Everybody has um, times when we're waiting for the sun, like the moon is the period right before we get to the sun, right? Um, this is 18, this is 19 in the fool's journey. So it feels like don't mistake your, your normal human doubts and worries and um, confusion and like, hmm, not sure if this is going to work out with like don'ts, you know, <laughs> like with, with, um, with stops or with feeling like an imposter because people think you have it together, but you don't. Um, even people who have lives that we, we think we would completely... Uh, envy don't they still have problems I mean like I remember when I was younger I used to really want to be like some kind of like big scale entertainer and now I see and hear all of the stories about like the horrible abuse and terrible things that happen in the industry the stress is how like the notion of celebrity to me is just like ugh, like it sounds like a horrible prison so ah. For some, that might be a thing, and it might not. Quieting the mind, a higher view, and letting go. See? Like, it's, <laughs> there's something new that's wanting to inspire you, an idea that's wanting to take you somewhere. It could be a spark of flirtation or passion in something here. Um, this hermit energy, this quieting of the mind is something that's really important. So it's kind of like coming back to center. I'm just going to read the a quick little summary of each of these 24 let it go so for this one we have it's about forgiveness healing resentments shedding the role of the eternal martyr letting go of victimhood cutting the ties that bind you to a destructive story releasing pain so you can move into the lesson it offers relinquishing the need to be right 
that right, this sort of like make the right move, do it at the right time, do it, you know, once you have, you know, X number of dollars in your bank account, then you can take that risk. Once you, once you've made X number of connections, then you can do that. Once you've lost X number of pounds, then you can go on that date. Like it's, it's a lot of that kind of stuff. It's just like this kind of energy that I feel like is just getting cut out. Let's take a look at quieting the mind. We have meditation. Okay, meditation as a commitment, the need for silence, peace within despite chaotic outer conditions, letting go of the monkey mind and mindfulness. Okay, so this is talking about life being chaotic all around you and making time to be still and be with yourself. Okay, even like earlier today, I've been doing errands, I've been doing things, and I started thinking about some things that are like kind of anxiety inducing. Um that are, you know, occasionally go on in every person's life. And I was sitting and thinking and sitting and thinking, and then I tried to scroll, right? I was looking through social media, trying to distract myself. And then eventually I had to have this moment of just sort of like, stop hiding, like stop trying to run, right? Just like sit with this for a second and like let yourself be quiet. And how do you actually really feel, right? I think that those moments during this season are going to be a big deal for you, for all of us. We have a higher view, number 41. And this says, yeah, beautiful. I like, I'm really drawn to how the bird that's like, do you see the birds that are sitting on top of his sword here, of this king of swords in your outcome? And that beautiful creature, it looks like a dragon, that's <laughs> hanging out in the background. This is the higher view, this person who's sitting here on a beautiful wise owl, saying, seeing from a higher perspective, Conscious neutrality, letting go of judgment and assumptions, non-attachment, the ability to remain unbiased. This is like the big picture view. Big picture. It's a zoom out kind of month it looks like for Pisces that this is ringing for. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope something in here was helpful to you. Um, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, all this stuff. Thank you so much to all of my members. I appreciate every single one of you so much. Even if all you do is you show up and you watch, honestly, I, I appreciate any attention you give the channel and my work immensely. You're all wonderful to me. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, take care of yourselves. I hope you enjoy your month, okay? Take care. Bye now.